Praise the Lord. I am just ministering to those that, um, uh, the visitors that came from all over the world. I just prayed for a few of them and they caught the fire of the Holy Spirit. They caught the fire of the Spirit. They caught the fire of realms and some great things will start happening in their lives. This is the time to experience the baptism of the fire of the Holy Spirit. This is the time to manifest the glory of Yeshua. Jesus reigns forever, not in words, but in power and in reality. We don't preach religion. We believe that Jesus is real and he can be encountered and his glory is tangible. God bless you. Watch this clip. My name is Precious. I'm from Free State. The reason why I came here in Ecclesia is because of these two children that are standing here. They have a problem of collapsing and it just started with this one when he was one year until seven years. He was collapsing and then I took him to the hospital and then the doctor says uh, she has a, 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 a epilepsy and then then he took the treatment of epilepsy while well, I'm, I'm still treating that uh, epilepsy and then they said there's a problem of the of the asthma in the boy so he took the uh, they gave him the the pump for for the asthma and then time's gone time's gone when she when he's seven years she that thing became better so I wasn't realized that that spirit left this boy and then he, he just jumped to, a, to her sister. So the sister cannot go to school. He was struggling from 2021 when she was 15 years. This place, it was on February, this place attacked her so badly. Last of last week, on Saturday, he just collapsed and see the things that that I cannot, that I don't know how to explain it. Only, only had to explain it. The things in the spirit that that wants to torment her. That the voices in her head, in her ears. So on Monday, then she decided that not to go to school. On Tuesday, she go to school. After when she was at school, and then I just have a call from their teacher and said the child is just collapsed on the road of the cars. She just collapsed there and then she can't speak, she can't move, she, she can't do anything. And then they were so shocked and then they called me, then I came here and I, 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 when I arrived, I, I found them lying like that and then I just prayed to, to her. And then after praying, after praying some time, she just opened her eyes, but she couldn't talk, she couldn't do anything. When we arrived at home, uh, she wanted to kill herself. I was unconscious, she take the knife, and then she 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 she, she wanted to go outside he wanted to to kill herself and one of my niece then uh, 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 saw her and then she just tried to to take that knife uh, he, uh, it was the it was the third time trying to take her life I, I i don't know what to do because i took them from church to church uh, seeking help from the men of god they said these are the spirits but no one helped me until we, we have encounter with the one seven of Christ, Pastor John Enesigum. I have encounter in my dreams with the men of God. I dreamt that I was in the midst of the big snakes. Then I was running, there's someone that was, yeah. was, was, we were running from that big snakes in that dream. So when we are still busy running, then I saw the, the one seven of God, Pastor John Enesigum, behind us. He just take the sword and throw the head of that big snakes. And then while he was busy uh, fighting that snakes and we were busy running, uh, ahead of us when we were busy running, there comes another big snakes around, um, that, that are coming on uh, in front of us. Then that's where I, I, I just panicked and then get out of the dream. A month after my daughter there, he had an encounter. It was a night. Um, around 12, 12 p.m. I saw a man coming to me saying that you and you and your mother need me and I was like who are you then he just laughed then I woke up in the morning saying mama I saw this kind of a man saying that we need his help and in a dream when I when he were when I encountered with him I felt I felt peace in the dream like everything was peaceful all around me. Then I told my mom that I saw this kind of a man. Then my mom told me, he took me to her her YouTube videos. 
then we scrolled, we scrolled looking for the man of God until we saw him. Then I was like, this is the this is the man of God that should showed up in my dream saying that we need his help. And the dream repeated itself last week on Friday. When we last week on Friday, me holding a cup of blood, holding like this, then the man of God prayed for me holding that cup. So we decided that me and my daughter will come here. So I took the, all the money that I was, our, 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 our saving for, for her to, to go to school next day. And then I said, I, said, I know after, after coming here, our life will never be the same. When the man of God mm -hmm. prayed for me, I felt too much fire in my body, too much power. I felt the hand of God heavy upon my life and I felt so light, I felt so so happy. So I just wanna thank God. I know and I have faith that after the man of God he has laid hand on her on, on both of them, that spirit left them for forever in Jesus' name. Me being here, um I feel like the heaviness in my heart just it's over. I feel like everything is is brand new in my body. Each and everything that's functioning through me is brand new. I could even think straight right now, no negativity, only positive things in my life. Since we, we arrived here on, on Friday, then we came to church here. That's the first time I saw her. Her eyes were so peaceful. They were so happy. And they've never been in, in collapsing and fainting. Everything was just okay. What I would like to say to the man of God, I would just like to say that I thank God for him. I thank God for giving him power to save us from the things of the world. And may God bless him through all out. I'm running out of ways. I don't know what to say. All I can say is that I thank God for the man of for the born servant of God. Pastor John and a sick Ah, in my spirit, I, f I, 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 I feel like this is my home. It's like I, 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 I can stay here and learn every every teaching and and learn uh, the laws of God. Ah, I thank God. What you've just seen now is real, and many more people are coming from all over the world for impartation. Thank God for what has happened, and it will keep happening. Get ready. We are coming to your country very soon. Get ready for raw and raw for all nations on the 7th of December. It's going to be a powerful come and raw with us. Raw for all nations, December 7th, 2024, this year. Plan to come there. And I look forward to warring with you and riding with you. God bless you. See you then. Bye-bye.